it was a gun. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. Just want to experience something else than a black man. <laughs> move on, move on. Like we a host of blinkers. Honestly, on. say, I was about to have Corrupt. sex and then I pulled Crap, but it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What would I think about a Barack Obama? He just changed the world. You know? Everything that everybody thought was impossible, he made possible. And it goes to show you about the great diversity that we have, not only in America, but in the world. And hopefully, uh, the ANC and the South African government will learn a lot uh, from uh, our American democracy and how it's supposed to be. It's for the people, not for those who want to enrich themselves. It's bringing transformation in America and the rest of the world. It's beyond people's ex expectations, but they shouldn't expect too much from you because change just takes a lot of time to come up in time. It's going to bring a lot. Like, he's everyone's hero. And America needs a hero. The world needs a hero. It's going to make a lot of change of God's race. Could be bad, could be good. It's, I think all the black people, personally, we're all like hanging on to him. Like, make a change, show what can happen. Regardless of race, he's a good man. He's going to be a good leader. It's like a new Mandela. We really, really need that. It's a dream come true, I guess. The change was in the making, okay? Uh, the world was ready for the change. Uh, we repudiate the George Bush doctrine of you with me or against me. And I think the whole world, you saw it on television, people dancing in the streets, okay? Uh, not just one day, two days. Now, when is the last time you saw a president of any country where the citizens of the country were dancing in the street with joy, you know? I never thought it would happen in my lifetime of death. And I'm extremely proud. I cried when it was officially announced. I was so proud, you know? The struggle's been tough, it's been long. Uh, Martin Luther King, when he said I had a dream, it's come to fruition, you know? So, uh, I don't think that uh, his promises to the American people are unrealistic because it's gonna take a nation to build a nation. And I think he has the skills and the ability to bring all the people of America and other world together so we all going in the right direction for peace and prosperity. I love it. A lot of Americans are really, really relying on him. A lot of Kenyans, Africans in general are really relying on him. And the fact that there's, we don't really have anything else to look forward to. We don't have any hope. The youth is hopeless. And we need somebody who can look Tell us like it's gonna happen. You can make it happen. You know, bring it all back to life. Yeah, we can change. You know, yes, we can. We can. It was never a, 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 a matter of black white. It was who was the most qualified. He just happened to be half black and half white. Okay, so it was never a question of uh, of a black white thing. It was who was the best qualified to lead our country and to help change the world. And it just happened to be Barack Obama. <laughs> what else can I say? <laughs> Is he from Afghanistan or something? Is he like taking over from Bin Laden or something? Is that the new? No, he's the new president elect. Oh. He's a political puppet who is Server, uh, he's a servant of the corporations. His uh, priorities don't lie with the people. Uh, his biggest sponsorship came from a corporation, so therefore his loyalties lie to a corporation. It's not for the people. Um, I won't say good luck to him because I know what he's about, but it's my opinion, contrary to everyone's popular belief, that he'll change. I'm not convinced. Obama. Give him opportunity, I mean, it's going to be the first time America's going to have a black president. Khaled. He's making history. Khaled, whatever, he's not white, so... Um, yeah, you could make a change. And it's going, to in, it's going to affect the rest of the world. I mean, America does rule majority of the world, so... Yeah, let's see what he can do. Do you care if Barack Obama is president? Because basically we don't really care. Let them have their black president. They have to catch up with us. Good guy. I don't really know, but I, I think he's going to do a good job. In comparison to what we've had, both candidates were good candidates compared to what we've had. 
But I think that he is a much better candidate because of the way he presents himself, the way he speaks, and his overall image to everyone else. I think it's a good thing. Yeah. I'm from Norway, so I don't know too much about the, the whole election, the different candidates. But what I've seen and what I've heard, I think he's a, he's a really good winner. Barack Obama? Um, yeah, awesome. It's uh, good for America, I think, yeah. I think it's a, it's a really cool thing, but I'm, I'm not sure how it's going to affect us here in South Africa, because everyone seems to make a big half about it. I don't really know what the effects are, but it, it is an awesome thing. It's a good thing for... Uh, but I don't want him to be a president just because he's black. He should have mm -hmm. some merits. Mm -hmm. But I like that a black man is one for once in America. That's what I can say. Oh. Obama is a winner. I think it's fabulous. I think it's wonderful. Right. Winner, too. It's a new opportunity. Um, there is freedom and that the United States actually need a change. Well, the state of the economy, world economy now, it's going to make a big difference because uh, he's in a good position to uh, make the differences now. So Let's hope uh, he's just not one of the puppets uh, speaking uh, to get the votes, but uh, actually do something about it, which I think uh, is probably a pot potential to happen. I don't really know that much, but I think Maybe more trade, that's all I can say to South Africa. Because it's similar to what we had gone through, and he's, sorry to say, the first black president, I can say that. It's going to make a huge difference in America. And I think, yeah, like George Bush, them, you know, I don't know. But I think it's going to make, because for all the wars that's happening now, there's, there's a war in Congo. So he can, there's gonna be, he can do something about that. You know, there's war, there's there's hunger strike, there's poverty, there's a lot of things that are happening in other countries. I think he will help with those things. You know, uh, I think that guy is going to play a very good role to America. I promise you. It only takes one person truly. Yeah. If one person stands up, so we can raise. The, all of the rest of us can actually just believe in that and stand up and actually make a change. Because the world really needs a change, huh? Definitely. Not Definitely. to mention the first black first lady. I'm really excited about that. She's so strong. She's so motherly. She's so, I think she's going to change the whole, the first lady should be just background, stand there and look good. She's very, she's very focused and she's so educated. Harvard Law School, she's got a lot coming and I think a lot of people are relying more on her and she's going to put a lot of pressure if he's not really doing well. It's up to her to also push him forward. So a whole lot of black women, personally myself, really, really looking up to her. Democracy. For democracy. Real democracy. It won't be easy for him because a lot of problems all over the world, even in America. And um, but yeah, I think he's he gonna bring the, the right move into the country and probably can can make a change. Yes, yeah, I think so. No. <laughs> America turned cool in one second when he became president. That's what I'm saying. Because I hate America, but when he became president, I liked America. So it just changed like that. <laughs> Not right now. I'm so tired. I think it's amazing. And it's quite a revolutionary thing to happen to the States. It's like a huge change. And the fact that, like for the first time, the first black president ever, it's quite a major thing. And it's, I think it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> We're expecting way too much from him. Ah, oh, I hate him so much. That one is a great leader, number one. We believe on him. Uh, for me, I think that is the hope of the world, you know. He's coming and we hope he will bring a change. And everyone is expecting a change, so a change is coming for us. That's good. We don't have anything to worry about that because Bush is gone. We don't have Bush. He, he never want Africa. He never wa he always want to fight. But Obama, we know that a couple of days peace will come. And this problem of economy will end. 
understand, understand that, that I understand that Obama is someone that will gonna make the world have peace. Because when the world got peace, the Arab countries, people from different Arab countries, they gotta come together and begin to love the US and there's not much terrorism anymore. A black president they, from what we've seen from Africa they just get power hungry. If you look at Zimbabwe, the Congo, East Africa, they just get power hungry. So the best thing to do is Obviously, South Africans are scared to vote in a white male. So the, the best next option is a black female. I mean, yeah, black female. Mm -hmm. the, the next best option for South Africa. I believe that uh, uh, the Obama being elected now as the president of America, this is prophetic. Because I read much, I read the Bible a lot, and I understand prophecy. Uh, because the first uh, people on earth, the African people, were the first clever people in the world. They taught for the world. They led the world. The Egyptians led the world. They came up with their invention. And uh, when I see what has uh, actually happened in America, I can say it is the words of Jesus Christ coming to, uh, to be fulfilled. God, Jesus had said that the first will be last. I think um, with him, um, uh, State Powell as uh, President of the United States, I think he's in, Asia in uh, quite a uh, prosperous era, I think. If he does make a difference, um, like the hype is about, then I think it definitely can bring about change in Africa, in America, and yeah. Well, I think he's the best thing that's happened to America since sliced bread, actually. Um, you know, considering what Bush did for eight years and what McCain could have done for the next four years, I think America is very fortunate to have Barack Obama. At least he can think on his feet and put more than two words together at the same time. And I just think. I have a brother that lives in Florida, in Miami, who's been very involved with canvassing at the moment. And I just think they're speaking about the Madiba magic. And my God, we felt the Obama magic. And let's, let's just really feel that 9-11 turned America upside down and Obama's turned it the right way up. He has vision and he seems a, as a, a, he's a calculated man. Um, I think he's gonna bring about uh, quite significant change in. Uh, in America and I think it's gonna seep into the world yeah there's just something about him that I think a lot of uh, government officials here in South Africa can learn from from him I think we've got to get away from this whole concept of color and I think Obama can teach us in South Africa a little bit about looking at at, at a person rather than color because I think in South Africa we've got to move slowly away from that whole aspect of color and let's, let's actually look at the person rather than the colour. And that is where America can show Africa a few things. And hopefully we can. And I do believe that one person can make a difference. Because we've got to start somewhere. And the time is now. Yeah, we like so much uh, Obama. Yeah. We like him. Yeah, we, we want uh, the new vision in the world. For what we like him. We, we, we think uh, everything can change. What's, uh, the, the, it's what we're, we're waiting for. We want uh, uh, the freedom, the real freedom in, uh, in uh, Africa, yes, uh, for the black people, for everyone. Not only for the black people, only also for the white people, because uh, many people suffer in the world. Why? For what? Uh, if there is a new uh, president, black people in the world is a foe. Everyone. So we think uh, God can do something. Uh, God blessing and the Lord bless the world. Thank you for that.